we will go over an example of a cube like the one you see here and a cylindrical structure, a tank, similar to the one you see on the right hand side. Where can we find hydrostatic pressure loads? Some examples are dams, tanks, silos, liquid containers, among others. Here we have a model of a cube defined with shell mix mesh panels. We can take a look at the dimensions. 6 meters is the overall height and 5 meters to the top of the liquid level. This is why you see two sets of panels on each face. We will apply a varying pressure load to each of the lower panels using the area load tool and a three point method where we specify the value at the bottom and at the top of each of these panels so that we can later mesh it and get varying pressure loads automatically generated for us on each shell element. Let's move to the loads window and define the varying pressure loads. So if I click loads window, I have created a folder called face cube which shows one of the faces of the cube. I need to select the area load tool and select varying pressure load in the pressure load type. Remember also to specify the load orientation. In this case, I will apply it for the local set axis of each panel. And my magnitude at the bottom is going to be 900 kilonewton per meter square. I just need to click on the bottom corners of my panel. So I just click, this will be my first point. And near the corner, I just click for my second point. So this line has the same magnitude. And then I just need to select a third point. Remember to change this value. I'm going to place 0 0.001 and click on one of the top corners. It doesn't matter which corner, I select for my third panel final point. So I just select this one. And I have my three points. You could do the same from top to the bottom. In that case, you will need to select minus point zero zero one here and here, followed by minus 100 on either of the bottom corners. Once you define your varying loads on each panel, and I'm just going to select my whole structure, you will notice I went ahead and defined the same values for the other faces of the cube. I just need to go to the geometry window and click the mesh button, this one right here. I'll also suggest to watch the mesh tool recordings we have available on our YouTube channel. And remember to also check the model tolerance you're using. You can do so in File, Integrity Checks. This is also mentioned in the videos I suggested. Once I click the mesh button, SFrame will generate the shells for me automatically and ask me if I'm happy with the configuration. If not, you can click no and change the mesh parameters using the panel element tool. For this case, I will click yes to accept these changes. Now I can go to the loads window once again to verify I have varying pressure loads on all the shells generated. So I go to loads window, select the uniform pressure tool. You will see each shell has a value and they are changing from top to bottom. We zoom in at the bottom, we'll see we have a value of minus 97 kilonewton per meter square for these shells. And if we go to the top right here, we can see a value of minus, almost minus 3 kilonewton per meter square for these shells at the top. This is how you generate the varying pressure loads. Now let's move to the other model, the cylindrical tank. Here we have a tank model and we're going to apply a load in a similar way we did with the cube on each of these panels. Let's go to the loads window and check the loads we have defined. I go to the loads, I go to area load tool, and remember to select varying pressure in the pressure load type. You will notice these loads have been applied in the local set axis, so you will need to go here, select local set before applying these loads. And if we zoom in, you will see a value at the bottom of minus 50 
so I selected this corner and this corner so I have minus 50 and for the top we have a value of minus 1 so it goes from minus 50 to minus 1 kilonewton per meter square you can quickly generate all the loading required on this model using a copy page action and we have another tutorial video that shows how to generate these loads automatically for each panel using the clone tool so you will not need to go over each panel manually moving on we will mesh this model and remember to check the mesh parameters and model tolerance you're using so we go to the geometry window and similar to the cube model we're going to click the mesh panel element tool since this is a model with a lot of panels it may take a while to mesh it that's why I have a second model which is already meshed so this is the result and I already moved to the loads window to verify the pressure loads that were generated so I just need to go to uniform pressure tool and I can verify the pressure loads if we zoom in at the bottom you will notice a, ma a value of minus 49 kilonewton per meter square for the bottom shells and if we zoom in at the top we'll see a value of minus 1.6 kilonewton per meter square on these shells and this is how you create the varying pressure loads